Hello, welcome back to story time. Let's do our hello song. Make the sign for hello and make the sign for friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to read a book. It's time to read a book and maybe do some counting. And this is kind of an odd arrangement, don't you think? A shoe? A house? Some sticks? Hmm. Let's read some books about numbers today. That sounds kind of funny, doesn't it? But there's some fun ones. This is called The Crayons Book of Numbers from the creators of the number one best-selling The Day the Crayons Quit by Drew Daywall and Oliver Jeffers. <laughs> the Crayons Book of Numbers. Duncan's 10 crayons have gone missing. Look at that empty box. Can you help him? Can you help find them for him and count along the way? What color are we gonna look for first? Oh, one crayon. The purple one says, start looking inside the lines. Two crayons, we've got a purple and a green, two crayons. I like coloring crocodiles. Purple, green, yellow, one, two, three, three crayons. I am the true color of the sun, says yellow. Four crayons, one, two, three, four. Don't listen to yellow crayon. I am the true color of the sun, says orange. <laughs> When you look at the sun, do you see yellow or orange? Or maybe something in between? Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Five crayons. I'm tired of being called light brown. Six crayons. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six crayons. Could you please use me sometime to color in a dinosaur? Apparently pink would like to be color uh, a dinosaur, but maybe not too many people use pink for that. I don't know. Seven crayons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Being the favorite color can be tough sometimes. Look how little he is. Apparently blue is his favorite color of this, this drawer. Water, clouds, rain. Eight crayons. I need a rest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Look at red. Red's used for a fire truck and lots of hearts and apples and strawberries and Santa. <laughs> nine crayons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine crayons. I can do more than just outline things. The black crayon wants to be used for more than just outlines. 10 crayons. Whoa, elephants are a big space to color all by myself, says Gray. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think we might have found all 10 of them. Hooray, you found all 10 of Duncan's crayons. Duncan and his crayons are very happy. Nice. Let's do a little rhyme thing with my, my uh, props here, shall we? You guys know this, I'm sure. One, two, Buckle my shoe, right? Buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, don't be late. Nine, ten, let's do it again. One more time. One, two, buckle my shoe. There we go. Three, whoops, 
three, four, shut the door, five, six, pick up six, oh, I'm dropping them, seven, eight, don't be late, nine, ten, let's not do it again. <laughs> All right, thanks for putting up with that. My shoe is now all buckled. I'm gonna move this little house out of the way. I'm gonna use that in a little while. But first, I wanted to show you this really beautiful book. It's called Counting Creatures by Julia Donaldson and Sharon King Chai. And you can hopefully see just how gorgeous this book is. It's got these cutouts, and I'll try to show you all the different flaps. Can you see the beautiful animals? a fox and actually this is a texture um, a, a flap and you can even see more isn't that beautiful all right counting creatures this bat has let's open this and see what it has one baby holding on tight as they fly through the night. One baby holding on tight as they fly through the night. Can you, here, can you see the baby un underneath the bat there? One baby. Who has more babies than that? This sheep has, I gotta find the flap. <laughs> there it is. This sheep has two lambs, one of them eating, the other one bleating. Bleh. Who has more babies than that? Ooh, this leopard has three Cubs. One, two, three. Tottering, swaying, bouncing, and playing. Who has more babies than that? Ooh. This wild, this wild dog has four pups. Nosing and nestling, writhing and wrestling. One, two, three, four. Who has more babies than that? This is so beautiful. This owl. How many, how many babies do you think the owl has? Let's see has five owlets. One, two, three, four, five. Huddled together, warm in cold weather. Who has more babies than that? Ooh. This fox has six kits. The baby fox is called a kit. Six kits frolicking, frisking, bushy tails whisking. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six kits. Who has more babies than that? Ooh, this Arctic hare. Arctic hare. How many babies does he have? Oh. <laughs> Seven leverets. I didn't know that was what a baby Arctic hare was called, a leveret. Running and jumping, little legs thumping. Who has more babies than that? Ooh. Oh, this mouse. This mouse has, look at these beautiful leaves. You open up the leaves. No, this mouse has Eight baby mice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pattering, pawing, nibbling, and gnawing. Isn't that cool? Who 
has more babies than that. This duck has, whoa, nine ducklings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Swimming and snacking, practicing quacking. <laughs> Has more babies than that. Oh, this pot belly pig. A pot belly pig. Whoa, 10 piglets romping, cavorting, squealing, and snorting. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoa. Ten piglets. Who has more babies than that? Whoa, this turkey has, look at this tree, you open the tree, can you see that? 15 poults. I didn't know turkeys had so many babies. Some of them peeping, the other ones cheeping. Can you see all those 15 babies called poults? Who has more babies than that? Ooh. This butterfly has 20 caterpillars. Munching away, getting fatter each day. Who has more babies than that? Who can possibly have more than that? This frog has, I gotta open the lily pad somewhere here. There we go. Whoa, 25 tadpoles. Look at them wriggling, squiggling, and wiggling. <laughs> Who has more babies than that? This spider has, whoa, <laughs> lots of spiderlings. Take a good look, they're all over this book. How many babies is that? Apparently, if we would look back through, there are spiderlings all over the book. Isn't that a cool, beautiful picture book with nice, beautiful flaps to open? I like that one. Let's do another little thing here with my lovely green. We'll pretend that's grass, shall we? And I bet you know you can catch on to this song quite quickly. One little, two little, three little children, whoops, four little, five little, six, six little children. Seven little, eight little, nine little children. Ten little children come out to play. Can you guys do that with me again? One little, two little, three little children, four little, five little, six little children, seven little, eight little, nine little children, ten little children come out to play. Now, what would happen if we took off, so we have ten, right? Let's count backwards, shall we? So ten, now we have nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, none. We can count backwards and forwards, right? Let's put them back up there. One little, two little, three little children, Four little, five little, six little children, seven little, eight little, nine little children, ten little children come out to play. Nice.
Thank you for helping me sing that. I hope you did. I, I hope you guys are getting out to play too, because at least here there's some snow to play in a little bit. I hope they get. I hope we get more sometime. I have another number book for you. It's this is kind of a silly one. It's called Grandpa Gazillion's Number Yard, and a gazillion is uh, just means a lot, a whole lot, right? Okay. And this one is by Lori Keller. She's the one that did those scrambled up states books. So you might know that one. Okay. I'll, this is a, these are complicated pictures. I'll try to hold them up once I've read the page. I'm Grandpa Gazillion and she's Hildegard. Okay. We've got Grandpa Gazillion and I believe this is, maybe this is Hildegard or this is Hildegard. I don't know. Welcome, dear friends, to my old number yard. Oh, this is Hildegard the mouse. Numbers aren't used just for counting these days. Old numbers help people in many new ways. Take Elmo Alonzo McFizzleby's wife. Last year on vacation, a four saved her life. So go fetch some numbers. Oh, 20 will do. And let's see how numbers can help you out too. Can you guys see the see all the numbers on here? They're everywhere. There's a seven seven days in the week. There's, this is an 18. I don't know what he's using that for. 15. I see a two, a 20. Here's a whole bucket of numbers. Here's a bunch of twos hanging on a line. Here's a bunch of sevens. I see a bunch of fives in that bucket. So many numbers. Okay. Oh, Hildegard is the, the number yard rat. Okay, we've got Grandpa Gazil Gazillion and the number yard, and Hildegard the number yard rat. Okay. Three. If you're, whoops, I missed the page. Can you tell? Okay. One. Look out! A volcano of hot mac and cheese. Don't worry. A one makes a nifty trapeze. He was saved by an, a one from the hot mac and cheese. No music or dancing up there on the moon. Get the place jumping. Play a catchy two tune. If there, if you're up on the moon and there's no music or dancing, you can use a two. It looks like a saxophone. And play a tune. Three. If your double humped camel annoys your backside, if your if your bottom is sore, saddle up with a three for a smooth, easy ride. Who ever heard of using a three as a saddle or a camel? You're soaked head to toe from the elephant splash. Go plug in a four. You'll be dry in a flash. Can you tell what he's doing? He's using the four as a hair dryer. <laughs> All kinds of problems here, right? Silliness. You're buried beneath mashed potatoes and chives. A five snorkel lets you breathe till help arrives. Using a five as a snorkel. Hmm. See, this guy says, I don't know how many spoons the spoon unit has. I'm hoping someone, someone will count them and tell me. So I guess there's ways to count, other things to count in here. He's trapped under a massive mound of carbohydrates. <laughs> there's all kinds of silliness in these pictures. Six, don't you hate when your eyebrows fall into your soup? Dig them out with a six. It's a great eyebrow, eyebrow scoop. <laughs> oh, yuck. Spinach ice cream tastes just like cow dung. <coughs> Excuse me, a seven scrapes bad taste right off the tongue. I use a seven as a scraper. <laughs> this cow says, I can't believe he said cow dung. Well, he didn't have much choice. Not many words rhyme with tongue. <laughs> Oh, here it suggests we count the scoops of ice cream. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What a surprise. Eight. 
Do your gym socks fall down when you run really fast? An eight holds them up, but you might finish last. That would be silly. You're hungry and stuck on a tall mountain peak? A lollipop nine can last up to a week. Hmm, that mouse, or that rat is licking away. He says, we'll be done in just a few days, sir. No hurry, got this nine. It says temporary clo temporarily closed for cleaning. So many things to look at in these pictures. Whoa. 10. You can't see the parade because the crowd is too thick? Get a great view on your 10 pogo stick. Have you guys ever tried a pogo stick before? That'd be pretty special. I've never done it. He says, I wish my nose could play like that. <laughs> the marching noses. 11. A skunk, there's an 11, a skunk had some perfume she wanted to share. Ha. Huh. Stand on, a, on an 11 and get some fresh air. The skunk smell can be kind of str strong, can't it? So these people are all in the midst of it, and he's standing on an 11 and getting away from it. 12. The snore, if the snores from next door are disturbing your sleep, plug your ears with a 12 and you won't hear a peep. He's got a one in this ear and a two in this ear, and the one and two together make 12. <laughs> 13. Oh no, your plaid parachute's full of plaid holes. A 13 will save you, but watch out for flagpoles. Fourteen, your pink plastic pig is refusing to float? Get back to dry land on a fourteen sailboat. Ooh, fifteen, what's that being used for? You're covered with germs. You stood next to some sneezers. They must not have had a mask on, right? A fifteen removes them. It works just like tweezers. Hatch you. Ah, there go some more germs. Luckily he's got a 15 tweezers. Oh, 16. You've just been sat on by a giant meatball. Pick up your 16 phone and give him a call. Hello, Mr. Meatball. Could you scoot over just a tad, please? Oh dear. <laughs> 17, the toads are upset. Someone broke their toadstools. Fix them in a snap with your 17 tools. This, this guy's using the one and this guy's using the seven to fix the toadstools. Someone broke my stool. It's okay. Grandpa G is fixing it. See? Eighteen. Your neighbor's long mustache keeps tickling your face. An eighteen hair clip holds it neatly in place. <laughs> Here's your neighbor with this mustache that goes all over the place. And here, this eighteen hair clip keeps it away from your face. 19. If the birds down the street ask you over to dine, put on a 19 and you'll fit in just fine. <laughs> Here he's got the one as his um, feather sticking out his bottom there, and the nine as his feather sticking out of his head. Now he fits in with the birds. This is an awfully silly story. These guys say, Grandpa G, I'd like you to meet my wife, Barbara, and our daughter, Courtney. <laughs> oh, 
After 19, we have 20 special delivery, a big hairy gift. A 20 push cart makes him easy to lift. Use a 20 as a cart, well, how convenient. Mom, I want a gorilla. See, what did I tell you? Aren't numbers the best? They always come through when they're put to the test. If you're in a pickle, a bind, or a fix, just try out a 15, a 10, or a six. Finding new uses for numbers is fun. You've got a big brain, you could think of a ton. So wherever you go and whatever you do, take my advice, keep your numbers with you. Come back and see us, bye bye, thanks. Can you guys see a bunch of numbers on this page being used for various uh, various helpful things. <laughs> and, oh, he's using a 21, because that's what comes after 20. <laughs> oh, he's got, he's having a, a light bulb over his head, means he's having an idea. He's having an idea of what he can do with that 21. Grandpa Gazil Gazillion's Number Yard. Pretty cool. Thanks, Lori Keller. Thanks for joining me for numbers story time. Let's do Zoom Zoom and move on with our days, I guess. <laughs> Hands together. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, Climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Here, counting again, right? But we're counting backwards. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Oh, I still miss you guys. But thanks for coming and enjoy your week. And see you next time. Let's do our goodbye song. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye.